Welcome to the video. My name is Asia Balsamic. His name is Bob. And in this video, we're going to be... Wait. That's not Bob. His name is Bob. And we're going to be drawing in tribute of ATC Attack's birthday. Happy birthday, my good sir. About a week ago by the time this video is uploaded. Hmm. That didn't age well. All right, pass me. Continue on. Good. Ten style drawing swap video thing. Yeah, probably could use a different title, but eh, it is what it is. We're going to be drawing Double D from Ed and Eddie. I will elaborate more for those who do not know. And these are going to be the 10 styles that we got. I did a quick poll on my Instagram, which is right here, on your favorite cartoon. And then I decided to take those cartoons, or the first 10, and I decided to make it part of this video. So let's go ahead and get to the drawing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So obviously we have to have a reference image and it's going to be Ed and Eddie. It's going to be straight from the show and everything like that. I've done multiple drawings of Ed and Eddie including Double D. So we're just going to go ahead and breeze right through this one. That way we have a decent reference. Now throughout the video you're going to see me use colored pencils, pens, pencil, obviously for the drawing and stuff like that. But back to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the coloring like this. And I don't know what possessed me necessarily to keep this one rough when I started inking. Uh, okay. Inking is not my favorite, nor is it my best. But hey, live and learn, and we're gonna keep on going. So I go ahead and erase it and all that stuff. I do genuinely like how this one came out for the beginning. Pretty decent reference. And then, you know, to make it pop a little bit more, we're gonna add ourselves a little bit of a background. I chose teal because why not? So go ahead and do the rest, a little accent on his hat. And go ahead and fix this camera real quick, zoom on out for y'all, and bada bing, bada boom. And here we go. Not too bad. Pretty decent for a reference image, if I do say so myself. And in the great words of uh, ADC, <clears throat> make sure I say this correctly. Moving on to Hey Arnold. All right, that was terrible. So I wanted to create this in particular very well because this is my second favorite show. I had to do this one. But I wanted to make sure that it is justifiably so. That it looks like a character from Hey Arnold. That's the whole point of this, drawing this in the style. I looked at multiple images, multiple characters and everything. I really wanted to capture the essence of the show. So, I didn't want to sit here and draw Hey Arnold's you know, main character, Arnold. Uh, if you didn't know who that was, obviously. Duh. I didn't want to just draw him and throw Double D's hat on top of him. No, I genuinely wanted to create him as if he was in the show. So, I looked at all the characters and how the eyes were, and I wanted to see what features were exaggerated and everything like that, and, well, it wasn't too bad, honestly. Like, if you look in uh, Ed and Eddie's show, Double D has a very long neck, a very dominant jaw. Oh, get out of the frame, mate. Oh, back up, because we're working on the eye. We need to see that. Come on, back up. Mm, beautiful, awesome. So, I want to... Oh, you're creeping. Thank you. I wanted to make sure it was correct. So I drew the hat, made sure I had a little accent points and everything like that, and we went from there. Now inking is not my favorite. I'm going to say that a lot in this video and I do apologize. But I wanted to make sure that the outlines themselves were there because in Hey Arnold, the characters themselves, the outlines are everything. You can see in all the episodes and all the shots and everything like that. Boom, bam, and go. Now I wanted to make sure that, to make sure that this was Ed, double D, the ears are going to have to have the X's on them. They're going to have to have it. And can we just for a moment appreciate how smooth and how solid that was inking. Don't expect anything greater because that was probably the best you're going to see in this entire video. But anyways, all that aside, I really, really, really do enjoy doing this. Um, this was a very challenging thing. And if you, you know, want to try it yourself, I know this has been going for a minute, try it. It is a great learning exercise and it's more than just looking at the show and going like that. There's so much research and so much background knowledge you have to have behind it. I learned so much from doing this. I'm just fast forwarding it here because, well, I'm just coloring right now. Nothing more to say about that. I will say I have learned so much from doing this one that the color of the skin is going to be the biggest thing for me. I know that in the future, I'm not going to do it on this color paper. This is great for like the highlights and everything like that, but not necessarily for skin tone. The background had to be just right because I'm telling you right now, 
in Hey Arnold, it is so nice. It is so soothing. Between the music and just the style of it, it is chef's kiss. It is phenomenal. I would highly recommend just checking out any episode and you're not going to go wrong. It is just so well done. So I wanted to have the color gradients. I wanted to keep it going from the sunset, sunrise, wherever you want to go, all the way up to the darker sky. And it's so well done. It has to blend so smoothly. So I wanted to make it dark without getting like a black color or anything like that. And so I, I accented that. And this is what we ended up with. This is pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. But moving on to Pokemon. All right. You know Pokemon. I know Pokemon. Your parents more than likely know Pokemon if they haven't played it themselves. Your grandparents probably know Pokemon or two or let's be honest, Pikachu because that's a very iconic Pokemon, if not the most iconic Pokemon. So I was drawing him as if he was in the anime or cartoon of the 90... Oh, it came out in 1996. All right. Well, I'm old. Anyways, I wanted to draw him as if he was in the first season alongside Ash, Misty, and Brock. I personally, that's my favorite, I wanted to keep him in that same era and everything like that. And so here we go. Kept the dominant jaw structure and everything like that. Make sure he had a decent length of neck because I don't want to make it too exaggerated because in that anime, it's not. I did his hat, I did the three wisp of hair, and then the eyes. The eyes, to me, personally, is what made it. So, nothing too fancy here. We're just going to go ahead and cover that in. And inking. Inking. Mm. Alright, go ahead and just line it up and make sure it's right. Beautiful. Okay. All that aside, same thing as before. Getting the skin and everything like that but this time I wanted to make sure that there were the highlights and the shadows and the lighting and everything like that because let's be honest for that time period and everything like that that's what sells it that's what keeps it from being so plain and everything like that and granted I'm no professional at it and I just want to do the best that I can that's why the shirt I had orange and then red admittedly I probably should have made it a little bit lighter but it is what it is the background I want to do a little bit outdoors because they're always outdoors or well not always but they travel across the land searching far and wide thank you for that applause applause and this is what we have right now not too bad but we'll get to that later I mean it wasn't too bad right moving on to fairly odd parents all right now I loved the show when it first came out well when I first started watching the show it was amazing I loved it to death and the art style was just well, let's be honest. When you think of a fairly odd parents, this is what I think of. Cosmo, Timmy, Wanda, things of that nature. This show has been going on for so long. Well, actually, I looked it up and the show ended. It finally ended after like 10 seasons, which is crazy to think about. But to keep it iconic, this face here, like the face shape and everything and the big eyes, the eyebrows and everything like that, the a gape the mouth and everything I felt like this is personally the style to do it I'm pretty happy about that if I be quite honest now you know the body size is relatively the same thick outlines Butch Hartman this is like his style like you look at it like okay cool I had the little light eye pieces or whatever and call it a day and then I just kept doing it and, and go ahead try it don't be afraid like it's so simple that is complicated I know that sounds such an odd thing to say because well, look at it. Let's be honest. This is a very simplistic art style. And I thought it was going to be easy. I was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'll just go ahead and draw and call it a day. But no, I was actually very worried about this because <laughs> you mess up something simple and people are going to know. If you try to draw a circle and your circle overlaps one another, they will know. But that being said, go ahead and color it in, everything like that. Double D's eye color is black. It's not blue it's not brown or anything like that so I did have a little bit of a harder time on this because I didn't want it to seem like oh it was just inside on the fourth that being said shorts purple and to add a little bit of a what was it tongue-in-cheek Cosmo and Wanda are kind of present but there we go not too much to say about that but we're moving on to the proud family okay I'm going to be 110% honest with you. This one, so far, was the hardest one to date because 
Proud Family is a very beautiful show, very well done and everything like that. The animation is nice and the character designs are so different. But the problem is bringing in Double D into this universe, you have to associate him with an ethnicity, a uh, nationality, and a background. But, you know, in Ed's world cartoon, they don't necessarily have that. You can make assumptions and everything like that, but in The Proud Family, every character has a different design and it's based upon, you know, the background and their nationality and everything. So I had to essentially make the assumption that Double D, for all t intents and purposes of this video, was Caucasian. So I kept the neck being long, extended, and the flesh tone, I went in colored. I had to pick a lighter color, which is what this is for. And then the outline wasn't black. It wasn't a dark color. It was a darker color of the already existing skin tone. So I went ahead and did this. And I wanted to make sure I got the eyes and everything correct. I kept the nose. It may be a little bit too big, but it does accent it very well. It does complement the rest of the features. Go ahead and speed through this. I'm essentially just going, oh, I got in the way. Sorry about that. And I kept this hat. Maybe a little bit too long, but it looks pretty good in my honest opinion. In my personal honest opinion, I just want to add a little bit of the background or anything like that. Lightly shaded and everything like that because bold lines, soft lines, soft shading. I'm sorry about that. And this is what we got. Not too bad if I do say so myself. But mm, Teen Titans. I'm not going to attempt to sing it. You guys are already hearing me talk for more than enough time. I started doing this and then my beautiful girlfriend, thank you by the way, did say that the jaw was too strong. Double D isn't a villain, he isn't evil and everything like that. So I decided to go with a little bit of a softer face. Kind of similar to that of Beast Boy, Master Menos and everything like that and a few other uh, heroes throughout the entire series. Because well, Double D in my personal opinion is a hero. I kept the nose because he has a pretty round nose. I gave him the wider eyes. Now, the reference image, he was kind of miffed. He looked bored or whatever you want to assume his emotion was. And so his arms are going to be crossed and everything like that. And then I want to make him in a superhero suit. Now, I will say that the other shot, the other cameras were kind of fuzzy. And ladies and gentlemen, we have fixed the camera. We have focused it. I do apologize for that. I did not realize that it was unfocused due to the fact of where my camera was. So we're just going to celebrate with this little montage of this one camera solely without flipping too much. But we went ahead and we colored his hat, got his gloves and anything like that, and skin tone. Now the hard part was, because of Teen Titans, the animation style, everything has a shading aspect to it. The face, the clothes, the background, everything like that. So we went ahead and did the lighting to be on the left side. Now granted, and I'll be 100% honest, this one I was not too proud of. I did not like this one. I did not like inking it. I did not like doing this one. In my personal opinion, this one was my least favorite. Also, inking. Inking. That was such a beautiful line. Anyways, go ahead and do the background. We're going ahead and blur it out and everything like that. We're going to blend it. We're going to make sure it's all nice and pretty. And boom, bam. This one was probably the weakest one out of the entire thing. And I'm not going to lie. We're just going to go ahead and move on to the Powerpuff Girls. Now, you know very well how this art style was. I'm not going to talk about the music. I'm not going to talk about the story or anything like that. But what I am going to talk about is how simple, kind of very similar to that of the Fairly Odd Parents, few details, maybe easy, but it is so hard to not mess up. I had the face and everything like that. All right, cool. And he may look like a rowdy boy, and he may look like the Powerpuff Girls. And that was what I was aiming for. If you sat there and looked at it, and you're like, oh, yeah, obviously, this is, you know, the Powerpuff Girls. But then you start seeing, like, certain aspects of it, like his hat and everything like that. And you're like, oh, wait, is that is that from the Powerpuff Girls? No. Well, it is, but you're also like, but I don't remember that character. But as long as you capture that style and not necessarily... 
I don't want to say imitate it because that's kind of what we're doing. We're drawing it in that style. As long as you're not blatantly just pulling a character and then just drawing that character on top, make it your own. Make it like, well, a character that belongs in that universe, like it belongs in that show. And that's what I was aiming for. Now, I will say the hard part was since Double D's eyes are black, and if you look in the show itself, like Bubbles, Blossom, Buttercup, and the Browdy Boys, they all have different eye colors. But the hard part was giving Double D his eye color from Ed and Eddie in this universe. So that's why I went in with my marker. I did the darker parts first, and then I went and I lightly went with a black color pencil, and I put it on the outside. So that way, you can still see that there is a difference between the two instead of it being just a solid color. I did go in a little bit later and I darkened it after I let the marker dry and it was a little bit lighter. But the background, the city of Townsville, which I thought was such an orthodox, I like it. Soft, character stands out and everything like that. You got the city, the Townsville. It's such a weird thing to say. But you know what? Look at his little feet. Do they wear shorts? Meh. I don't know. My life as a teenage robot. I saw this submission and I saw it and I was like, oh, bet. All right, cool. So I'm not going to lie to you. I know I've said this like five times. I'm sorry I repeat myself, guys and ladies. Um, This one I was so excited for because I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be pretty awesome. So I went and looked at a few of the characters and everything like that. And so many characters were in this show, so many different designs and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, wow, I need to figure out how I'm going to draw this. And so I looked at Double D's reference image and everything like that. I was like, okay, long neck, jaw, nose, hat, ears. Cool. X in the ear. Of course, got to have it. And the little, I don't want to know what they're called, or I do want to know. I don't know what they're called. The little accents on the side of the eyes. Anyways, I do know that you have to have a thick outline because in that show, some of the characters, a lot of the characters actually have a thick outline. So I went ahead, did it. And what made it selling point? What was the selling point of this entire thing? You're asking the sharp hair and the soft face for most of the characters were there. So I wanted to make sure, boom, bam, his hat, very angular, very sharp, his face, nice and round. That was a beautiful, good job. Good job. Pass me X in the ear, call it a day. And then his hair. And then just go ahead and do the rest of it. You should definitely try. I would highly recommend watching the show now. I don't know why they haven't, like, I don't want to say remake. I don't know why they kind of canceled it. But it is what it is. Now, I went in and I love erasing. I love seeing going from the rough draft to the final product, if you will. Or, you know, before you finish it. Anyways, so skin tone. Go ahead and get that in. The gap in his teeth because, well... Double D has that. Go ahead and do the eyes. Go ahead and put the whites. And go ahead and get the pencil. I'm so proud of choosing this color for his shirt because, well, it just looked like it fit so well. I wanted to draw a background, not only because I did in all the other ones, but because it had to sell. So, Double D's always outside with uh, the other two boys doing their schemes, scams. And, well, why not? Boom. This one was really good. <laughs> This one so far may have been my favorite, but you know what? We'll hold, we'll hold judgment until later on. X-Men. Okay. When I told you earlier that I thought Teen Titans was the hardest one, no. <sighs> this one was. I am not good at drawing comic book characters or Anything that deals with heavy inking as far as like details and stuff like that. This one was very challenging. I looked ugh, more than two hours. I looked at so many images. And this one in particular was the 90s cartoon X-Men. So I had to figure out how I was going to make Double D into essentially a human. Like a realistic human with nothing too exaggerated that can be believable that he was in a 90s comic superhero so this is what i got gave him a dominant jaw gave him you know per proper proportions and everything like that and i gave him bags underneath the eyes a little like i want to say cr crow's feet 
there you go. Kind of crow's feet, but he doesn't have crow's feet. But for the sakes of this crow's feet, gave him the eyebrows, gave him the uh, wrinkles right above it. So that way, you know, you purse your eyebrows and everything like that. And you got that right there. Made sure he had a hat that looked like it was believable. More than likely a beanie, if you will. And then inking. This time I chose to use a regular pen. I didn't want to choose to do the marker I've been using because the outlines would have been too heavy, especially for this style. So I went, I did that, and then I erased. Now, always remember to let your ink dry because I did not, and I tried to erase sideways so that way it would clear up, but it didn't. And so what I tried to do after that, I wanted to try to cover it up, so I ended up grabbing my flesh tone and I decided to just start coloring and hope that it would work but I want to say I had to add lighting first so I'm throwing silver down where the black hat would be that way oh cool you know there's some light or anything like that but I'm very 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 happy how the hat came out now that being said I had to go ahead and do the eyes and at this point if you notice, I had to switch pencils because my other one at this point was non-usable for details. But downside, the color pencil I'm using now is not a Prisma color like I usually use. It's um, another brand and it doesn't blend. So I had to use a white gel pen to get the pupils inside. And I just fast forward through the um, flesh tone for that first part just because, like I said, the paper is already tan and I need to not do this next time. But I wanted to say that I am very happy how the highlights came out. I picked a little bit of a like a orange yellow kind of thing and then orange for the darker parts because I didn't want to sit here and throw like a brown or something like that because that's not what Double D's skin complexion was and everything like that. But I am happy it came out like this. Um, as far as for his shirt, did that a little bit of lights. In the background, I decided to do a softer color. I did like purples and pinks and everything like that because in the show, boom, bam. But enough about that. <laughs> This was really good. And last but not least for number 10, SpongeBob SquarePants. This show has been going on, I want to say without exaggerating, I think 20 years, 20 something years. Good job. There are so many notable characters and everything like that. And this show has become a meme itself. But I wanted to make Double D part of SpongeBob's family. So instead of literally just drawing SpongeBob and then throwing double d's hat and stuff on it which is kind of what it looks like i'm not gonna lie to you because it does look like that but i wanted to make it look like he was cousin edward or something like that and going off of his other cousin and his mom or his dad his grandparents and everything like that i know you have to get the nose down you have to get obviously the sponge and i will say i'm happy how this came out his eye and everything like that the eyelids I thought this was so smooth because when I was doing the research and everything like that, I was like, oh, snap. So it's not just like a flat line and stuff like that. You have to genuinely have like the little bump of the eyelid and everything like that and go from there. Now, that being said, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This is coming out pretty good. If, you know, Squidward for some reason was transmogrified into a sponge character and he had to go as a pseudonym hey there you go this is him this genuinely looks like double d hey but you know what let's go ahead and get back to the character so i did the darker outline in a dark purple give or take because i wanted to still emulate that it was going to be double d's flesh but i didn't want to put pale because i felt like that would have been way too odd and what i did for the eyelids and anything like that i had a darker purple kind of style color and then I went over with the pink now if you do this let me know how you do and everything like that let me know what you're doing and everything the pores themselves I made it a darker color and then I went over with the lighter pink so that way it's not too too dark the pupils I of course did white for the iris and or sorry black for the iris and then I did a light blue and then I went back over with I believe yeah with the white because again double d's eyes are black and they aren't blue or anything like that but i wanted to give a little bit of a color difference so it doesn't look like it's just super small pupils and then huge um eyes after that so go ahead and get the white strips for his hat 
go ahead and do the white part for the collar. Oops, sorry, get that out of the way. And then the rest of the flesh. And he's wearing shorts, folks. He is wearing shorts just like in uh, Ed and Eddie. Go ahead and do a darker outline. And then go ahead and do the shirt orange. And then do a dark orange for that. The background, I thought this was going to be the nicest part of this entire drawing. Not going to lie to you. I went in. He's under the sea. Not going to sing it because I don't want to get copyrighted but by the mouse. So I added the floral design. And then after that, well, the 10 styles of Ed from Ed and Eddie has been done. This was a very challenging video. And I'm not going to lie to you. One, two, three, four, and five came out so well and then six seven eight nine ten came out even better but you know what let's go ahead and take a moment to look at all of them together here we are now at this point in the time I have to choose what my favorite one was and I want to know what your favorite one was and if I did a good job and if you're a hardcore fan let me know does it look like this is in the show but my favorite if I had to choose is gonna be these three this looks like he came from Teenage Robot, X-Men, and Spongebob. If you told me, hey, you know, did you see that they animated Double D into these shows and you told me these were them, I'd be like, oh yeah, I bet. But honestly, if I had to choose just one, this one. This one came out so well. He looks like he is a human in a 90s cartoon in a comic book. I am so happy how this one came out and well here we go to the end and if you can't tell by the different outfit and well the haircut this video has taken a very very long time ADC art attack I know this was supposedly for your birthday and your birthday now by the time this video gets uploaded hopefully is now a few weeks ago my props go to you, my good sir, because you make this look so easy. And I'll just say it right now, it's not. But that's it for me. My name's Asian Double Sonic. His name, their name, is Bob. And ADC Artec, thank you so much. Happy birthday, man. And until next time, peace, love, and hot sauce. And as always, thanks for watching. All right. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. His name is Bob. His name is also Bob. Their name is Bob. We were looking like twins for a bit. But, but my hair is all sorts of messed up. Alright, let's go to sleep. <sighs> Did it. Finished it, dog.